So the land use bylaw is a document that essentially regulates development. Uh, every city in Alberta must have a land use bylaw and it's pretty common throughout North America. Land use bylaws typically consist of three things. The first would be the map. What the map does is it divides the city up into zones or we call them districts. Those districts would be things like your residential, your commercial, industrial, uh, institutional, as well as parks and maybe some other things as well. They're further divided up based on intensity. So for example, with residential, you've got low density, which would be your single family homes, medium density might be row housing, and then higher density, which would be apartments or apartment towers, those types of things. So similar with commercials, uh, commercial uses, you would have uh, neighborhood commercial, which might be a, a corner store or a convenience store. Um, and then it would go up into maybe highway commercial where you would have big box and uh, right up to, uh, to office buildings. Uh, the second part to a land use bylaw would be the land use table. Uh, so this lists what, what's allowed. Uh, so it can include things like a single detached house if you're in that low density district. Um, and then anything associated with that as well. So maybe a home-based business, um, accessory developments like your garage and those sorts of things. So if you're not listed or if the use is not listed within that table, then it's not allowed. Uh, the third thing would actually be the development standards. So these are things like how high the building could be, uh, how far the building could be from the property lines, parking, uh, landscape requirements, those types of things. Um, so typically there would be requirements that you your, your development would have to comply with and if you don't meet those then you would be looking at potentially a, a variance.